ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ सेट बी ऑफ मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी नाउ दिस एक्सरसाइज इज बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन सेट ए वॉज बेस्ड ऑन थियोरेटिकल क्वेश्चन सो सेट बी इज बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट लेट सॉल्व इफ देर आर थ्री ऑब्जर्वेशन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव देन सम ऑफ डेविएशन ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन फ्रॉम दर अरेथमेटिक मीन दैट इज देर आर सींग सम ऑफ डेविएशन ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट इज एक्स फ्रॉम अरेथमेटिक मीन दैट इज एक्स बार दिस अ प्रॉपर्टी वॉट इज समेशन एक्स माइनस एक्स बार ऑलवेज एनी वन समेशन एक्स माइनस एक्स बार इज ऑलवेज वॉट जीरो करेक्ट करेक्ट जीरो समेशन एक्स माइनस एक्स बार इज ऑलवेज जीरो सो वी डोंट नीड टू कैलकुलेट दिस वट इज मीडियन ऑफ फॉलोइंग ऑब्जर्वेशन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ऑब्जर्वेशन आर देयर मीडियन इज एन प्लस वन बाय टू एथ ऑब्जर्वेशन सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन सेवन बाय टू इज थ्री पॉइंट फिफ्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन ओके नाउ कैन यू एन टेल मी द मीडियन थ्री पॉइंट फिफ्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन इज विच वन सो वेट टू टेक थर्ड एंड फोर्थ सो एवरेज ऑफ थर्ड एंड फोर्थ राइट सेवन सेवन We will not take average of six and nine because the data is not arranged in ascending order first. So we'll first have to arrange it in ascending order. Ascending order four, five, six, eight, nine, eleven. Now three point fifth is third and fourth average, which is six uh, plus eight by two, which is seven. Seven is correct. Good. Third is again very easy. What is modal value of these numbers? Mod is highest occurring observation, which is ten. It's occurring two times here, so ten is the mod. What is GM for the numbers 8, 24, and 40? 8, 24, and 40. GM. So there are three numbers. That means what we'll do is we'll multiply 8, 24, and 40, and we'll raise it by 1 by 3. Cube root. Hmm. What is cube root of 8, 24, and 40? Now, uh, what is 8 into 24 into 40 on calculator? Let's check. 7680. Cube root of 7680, right? Now. these options are such that we don't even need to uh, calculate exact value because 24 cube how much is 24 cube that is not 7680 that is 13000 what is 12 cube 12 into uh, equal to equal to 1728 so that is also not 7680 10 cube is also not 7680 that means c is the correct answer okay no need to uh, calculate that specifically A, B, and D are not the correct answers. That means C is the correct answer. You can take cube of this and check. Hmm. Next, fifth, harmonic mean for the numbers two, three, and five is. How do we calculate harmonic mean? Can anyone tell me formula of harmonic mean for set of observations? Anyone? Let's see how many of you remember. Hmm. 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 Correct. N upon summation one by x. So n is three here. So we'll do three upon one by two plus one by three plus one by five. Okay. How do we do it on calculator? Take two reciprocal m plus. That is two divided by equal to m plus. Three divided by equal to m plus. Five divided by equal to m plus. Then when we press MRC, what do we get? Let's check. 2 divided by equal to m plus, 3 divided by equal to m plus, 5 divided by equal to m plus. When we press MRC, we get 1.0333. If you check, hmm. so 3 divided by this, how much is 3 divided by this? Is it 2.9032? Option C. Hmm. 2.90 is the correct answer. Option C. Hmm. Correct. Next, if AM and GM for two numbers are 6.5 and 6 respectively, then the numbers are. Now this is very easy because they have given the options. So from options we can anyway calculate this. Uh, we'll select. We'll go by options. We'll see where AM is this and GM is this. So uh, check for GM. GM is 6. That means their product must be 36. So check if this is the correct answer. Right. 
9 plus 4 by 2 is 6.5. Correct. And 9 into 4 square root is 6. Then 7. If AM and HM for two numbers, this is very important, are 5 and 3.2 respectively, then GM will be what? Now, there is a relationship that GM square is equal to AM into HM. This is only, only for two numbers. Okay, this is only for two numbers. So, here we can use that. So, GM square is going to be 5 into 3.2. What is 5 into 3.2? 16. So, GM square is 16. That means GM is 4. Hmm? Next, what is the value of first quartile for observations? This, okay. Now, we'll have to count them first and arrange them into uh, ascending order also. So, let's arrange them first. 10, 12, 15, 16, let me know if I make any mistake, 18, 20, 23, 28. I think this is correct. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 observations are there. First quartile will be n plus 1 by 4th observation. That is 9 by 4th observation. 9 by 4th is what? 2.25th observation. How do we calculate 2.25th observation? Second observation plus this fraction that is 0 0.25 of gap. Gap is gap between second and third. So, second observation is what? 12 plus 0 0.25 into what is gap between second and third? 3. So, 12 into sorry, 12 plus 3 into 0 0.25. How much is that? 12.75. Correct. Good. 12.75. Option C. Correct. Fine. 9. Third decile, again we can calculate in the same way. First we will have to arrange them in ascending order. And how many observations are there, we will have to count. So let's do that. How many observations are there? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 observations are there again. So third decile will be 8 plus 1 by 10 into 3. This observation. right? So 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 by 10 into 3 is... 9 by 10 is 0.9 into 3 is 2.7th observation. So we need 2.7th observation. How do we get 2.7? We get second plus 0.7 into gap. Gap means gap between second and third. What is second observation if we go in ascending order? Second observation is 9, 10 plus 0.7 into gap. Next second is 10 and third is 11. Right. So, gap between 10 and 11 is only 1. So, 0 0.7 into 1 is 0 0.7 plus 10 is 10.7. Option B will be the correct answer, 10.7. Next. 10th is combined AM, that is easy. Just a second. Hmm. If there are two groups containing 30 and 20 observations, that means N1 and N2, and having 50 and 60 as arithmetic means, that is x1 bar and x2 bar. Then what is their combined arithmetic mean? We have a direct formula for combined arithmetic mean. Uh, can anyone tell me? Let's see. How many have Combined mean. Hmm. Hmm. Correct. Mm. Correct. N2. Correct. Mm. N1 x1 bar plus N2 x2 bar upon N1 plus N2. N1 plus N2 in this case is 50. N1 x1 that is 30 into 50 m plus 20 into 60 m plus. So numerator is going to be what? Let's check. N1 into x1 bar m plus N2 into x2 bar. So 2700 is the numerator if you check. So 2700 by 50 is 54. 54 will be the correct answer. Option C. Hmm. Okay. If anyone has any doubt at any point, let me know. Otherwise, 11th. If average salary of a group of unskilled workers is 10,000 and that of a group of skilled workers is 15,000. Uh, if the combined salary is 12,000, then what is the percentage of skilled workers? 
okay now there is a uh, shortcut we also to do this first of all tell me if we assume uh, skilled workers percentage as let's say x x percent then unskilled workers percentage will be what anyone correct 100 minus x percent right but this will give us equation which will be complicated bit complicated so let's do one simple thing if you remember there was a question in uh, proportions okay in proportions we used a trick that if we consider very carefully if two mixtures are mixed in some ratio hmm, let's say people with 10000 salary and people with 15000 salary if they are mixed in some ratio then we are getting 12000 as their average then we can calculate this proportion uh, tell me if you remember what is the difference between 10000 and 12000 what is the difference between 10000 and 12000 2000 right ha uh, uh, what is the difference between 12000 and 15000 3000 okay then we can directly take the ratio as opposite of that that is this is 2000 3000 so ratio is 3000 is to 2000 10000 was unskilled this was skilled so the ratio will be 3 is to 2 3 is to 2 means 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. That is how much percentage? 3 by 5 is 40 percent, right? Check. Three by five is sorry, three by five is 60 percent. Two by five is 40 percent. Hmm. So skilled workers will be 40 percent. We can directly see that that this much will be skilled workers. If you remember, we did this when there was a question of tea, tea mixed. Okay, in some ratio. You remember in proportions ha huh. correct chemical wala question also correct so we can use the same trick here that find the difference between individual means and weighted average weighted average means this uh, combined average and then reverse that ratio so 2000 3000 is the difference so ratio will be 3000 is to 2000 but this 3000 is unskilled 2000 is skilled so skilled are 2000 out of total 5000 That means two by five. That is forty percent. Let me know if anyone has any doubt in this. This is easier way to do it. Otherwise, you can form equation and solve. That will also give us same answer. Hmm. Okay. If there is no doubt, then let's go to twelfth. If there are two groups with seventy-five and sixty-five as harmonic means and containing fifteen and thirteen observations, then combined HM is given by. Now combined HM also has similar formula N one. Plus n2 upon n1 by h1 plus n2 by h2. So let's do that. n1 plus n2 is 15 observations and 13 observations, right? So 15 plus 13, 28 upon n1 by 75 plus n2 by 65. So let's do it on calculator. Do the denominator first. Uh, 15 by 75 m plus. And 13 by 65 m plus, that gives us 0.4 as denominator. So 28 by 0.4 is how much? 70. 70 will be the combined HM for this data. Okay. Next. What is HM of one, one by two, one by three, dot 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 up to one by n? Okay, this is a good question. C H M is n upon summation one by x. N is going to be n only because there are n terms. One, one by two, one by three, up to one by n. That means there are n terms divided by summation of reciprocals. The reciprocals of this will be one, two, three, dot 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 up to n. So if we take sum of reciprocals, it means one plus two plus three plus four up to n. Which is sum of first n natural numbers, and sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus one upon two. So we can cancel n and n. We can take this two two in the numerator. So answer will be two upon n plus one, which is option C. So this was a good question. Fourteenth is also a good one. An aeroplane flies from A to B at the rate of 500 kilometers per hour, and comes back from B to A at the rate of 700 kilometers per hour. Average speed of the aeroplane is. Now 600 seems to be the average, but that is not correct answer because 
here we cannot use am this is kilometers per hour kilometers per hour so which measure of central tendency should be used anyone which one hm correct correct because this is rate and this is not growth rate so we need to use hm so hm will be n which is 2 upon 1 by 500 plus 1 by 700 so let's check how much is that 1 by 500 m plus 1 by 700 m plus and then uh, 2 divided by mrc 583.33 should be the correct answer check 583.33 next 15 if a variable assume if a variable assumes the values 1 to 5 which frequency also is 1 to 5 then what is the am we can calculate this on calculator so x is 1 2 3 4 5 f is also 1 2 3 4 5 uh, we know that arithmetic mean is summation fx upon summation f summation f is going to be what 15 summation fx will be 1 2 into 4 9 16 25 how much is that let's check 1 4 9 16 25 55 so 55 by 15 will be the answer which is option a correct Correct. Option A. Yes. 11 by 3. Hmm. Next is based on change of origin scale which is easy. Next 3. Two variables x and y are given by y is equal to 2x minus 3. If median of x is 20, what is median of y? Now see for mean, median and mode, they are affected by both change of scale and change of origin. So you just have to do one thing. Put median in uh, place of x. That's it. You will directly get the answer. Because Anyway, they are affected by both change of origin and change of scale. This minus 3 is our change of origin. This 2 is our change of scale. Okay, so anyway, they are going to be affected by both. So let's put x, median is 20. So let's put x as 20. If you put x as 20, it will be uh, 2 into 20 minus 3. That is 37 will be the correct answer. Hmm. Next is also same. If the relationship between two variables u and v are given by 2u plus v plus 7 is equal to 0. And if aim of u is 10, then aim of v is again we'll put u as 10 so 2 into 10 plus v plus 7 is equal to 0 that means 27 plus v is equal to 0 so v will be minus 27 option c okay 18 is again exactly same can you calculate 18 tell me the answer mode of x is 23 13. Okay. 23 minus 10 is 13. So 13 minus y is 0. That means 13 is equal to y. So 13 is the correct answer. For 19th, we have a property. If gm of x is 10 and gm of y is 15, then gm of xy, okay, we have this property that gm of xy is equal to gm of x into gm of y. So it is just 10 into 15. That's it. How much is it? 150 g of x value 150 directly nothing else next 20 last one of this exercise if am and gm for 10 observations are both 15 then hm is anyone see both are 15 then hm also has to be 15 correct because if both are 15, that means all the observations are 15 only. All 10 observations are 15, 15, 15, 15, 10 times. So, AM, GM, HM, all are 15. C is the correct answer. Okay. So, I hope this was clear. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comments. Okay. Or right now, if you guys have any doubt. Okay. Otherwise, let's stop here for today. In next video, no doubt. Okay. Good. So, in next video, we'll cover set C. Fine. Okay. Let's stop then. Bye, everyone.